Hello, this is Cleantech Business Club again, together with Your Electric in our special visionary talks at uh, their award-winning Power Summit. And uh, it's so amazing because actually we are together with a guest who came here from the United States with Arshad. And uh, as you can see, also very elegant guest, yes. And uh, Arshad is a president and CEO of EPRI. And actually I had some discussion uh, like two days ago with uh, Christian and he was mentioning about uh, your role and uh, importance in the United States. So we are communicating with the clean tech leaders and I would like to let them know more about EPRI first. We are shaping the future of clean energy mm -hmm. that is affordable and that is resilient and reliable. We do that actually working with 400 energy companies ah. across 40 countries. Oh, really? So our 1200 researchers work with more than 400 energy companies and startup companies to really bring technology so that it can be adopted at scale by electric utilities. And uh, so that's a bit, our annual research funds that we get from all our members is approximately $440 million a year. Oh, One third of that are coming from utilities like ADF, National Grid, NL, KEPCO, TEPCO. Mm -hmm. So one of our founding principle is collaboration. Collaboration with electric utilities around the globe for a common cause, and the common cause is how we can accelerate the transition to a clean energy future, but do it reliably and affordably. Can I a bit argue with you? Sure. Okay, because you are mentioning uh, transition. And you see, like in our club, we always say it's not a transition, but it's actually in transformation. Uh, do you disagree or you agree? It's a transformation that will be needed to do the transition, but the transition cannot be just for a decarbonized energy future. Mm -hmm. We are clearly finding out the transition has to be for a secure energy future. Mm -hmm. We are also finding out the transition has to be for a climate ready future. So it's a combination of, we need to make the electric sector clean, we need to use electricity to create new energy vectors like hydrogen liquid ammonia to help the buildings and the industries to clean. But we need the electric grid to survive the weather of tomorrow because climate is already changing and will change. And we more. can notice actually there is a sun coming, yes, even in Brussels. So maybe we can just step a bit closer. And uh, so you mean that uh, because the question is, either we focus on improving the system which exists, or we find the new business models, or new solutions which do not exist now. So in this case, we don't need to just focus on improving the system. So let's say like uh, with, before we had uh, landline phones, now we have mobile phones, yes? So it was not improvement of the landline uh, you know, grids or cables and stuff, but it was completely new solutions which uh, exists without the cables and I would like to ask you so do you think that we should only focus on um, improvement of the current system or brainstorm together with the industry with uh, uh, clean tech industry with utilities with startups with visionary people I think it's needed both so if you look at solar the innovation in solar was incremental over the last 45 years we still have the same technology polycrystalline monocrystalline photovoltaic but look how much advancement we have made. So that's the opportunity for linear transition of a technology, but there's also an opportunity for a completely non-linear new technology that we should collaborate with the electric utilities, with EPRI, so we can provide the startups, for example, at the Euroelectric exhibit, I saw a technology that will change the way EVs get power. Mm -hmm. Imagine trains, electric trains, they have a power line on the top, and there's a thing that connects the train to the power line. So it's continuously getting charged. Mm -hmm. There was a startup company here that's working on, put the power line with the road. Yes, yes. Put My some brushes, carbon brushes, so if a yeah. bus is going 400 kilometer, the road is the charging mechanism. You know, there were companies 10 years ago working on to change the EV battery business so that it doesn't take even 30 minutes to charge. Should we have spare batteries and should we configure a car so a car goes to a place, you change the battery and you bring in a new battery like Neo. in fight? Absolutely. So I think those are game changing. I mean, game changing also is not just on 
the grid side, there is game changing startups now on advanced next generation nuclear reactors, micro reactors, 10 megawatt reactors, fully safe, fully operational. So we are seeing an explosion in the startup community. The clean tech funds that has gone on hydrogen, solar, wind, the entire, in the last 12 months was more than in the last six years. Hmm. So I think clean tech- So you tech, are a fan of the startups, yeah? Absolutely, the clean technology will be instrumental for what we are calling a climate ready power system. So what is a climate ready power system? A, the power system is producing clean electricity whether it's wind or solar or nuclear or even carbon capture in some places. It's a power system that has the sufficient capacity so that we can electrify other sectors and we can create new molecules, energy vectors, hydrogen, liquid ammonia from electricity to clean the sectors that are hard to electrify. And a power sector that can withstand the climate of the future because if you saw the IPCC report that came out six months ago, we are already seeing precipitation, drought, heat wave, wind speed, wildfire, it's changing. I think the biggest aha moment for clean tech should be, this power system was built on a design basis of the weather of the past. We need to evolve to the weather of the future. So maybe adaptation on how the electric grid adapt to a new climate could be the next innovation that clean tech. So clean tech needs to be broader, broader than just clean technology. Mm -hmm. It's clean technology, it's a resilient technology, it's technologies that are helping the electric sector to clean other sectors. So actually it's like a new paradigm. It is an absolutely new paradigm. Well, you are a fan of clean tech startups, so of course I will connect you with uh, Anis Joni who is the president and CEO of the French Solar Energy Institute. And in our club uh, is a chair of the CleanTech Startup Hub, yes. And then um, the next uh, topic, uh, which is I think uh, very important, is how utilities, they see the, the opportunity. So first, I will connect you to our Incubate Energy Network. It's a combination of many accelerators in US and outside US that are CleanTech farms. Um, your question on what is the, how are the electric utilities, so electric utilities or the electric sector, they have a unique mission to serve the entire society. You cannot just serve people who can afford you, you have to serve the entire society. So they're grappling with how do I make the clean energy transition? How do I make my system more resilient? How to make this transformation without impacting the cost of energy, especially to people who can pay the least, can afford the least. That is really the big challenge. The big challenge is not clean energy future. The big challenge is technologies, business models, transformation that will enable a clean energy future that is resilient and affordable. Exactly. Okay, super. So thank you so much, uh, Ashat. Uh, so we will be in the United States in uh, August. August, but also in September at uh, in Anaheim at, oh, okay. at Solar Power International. At the Solar Power International. Yes, exactly. With and, uh, so I hope that we can Fantastic. also meet you there, and also with Julia Ham. Yes. Yes, Julia. And is also with be there. the utilities, and uh, let's continue this talk also together with the utilities in the United States. Fantastic. And last question, uh, how did you like this event actually? Oh, it was amazing, amazing. This is my first year electric event. I met with Christian Ruby at the Glasgow COP Summit. And we both decided that, you know, it's, it's important just like they launched an initiative, Power Plants, Biodiversity Today. We just launched an initiative on Climate Ready. There is such an opportunity for collaboration. I mean, just look at around you and there's so much energy. You got utility people here, you got policy people here, you got technology providers. So it's a good combination of a very intimate setting that allows us to have that dialogue. That's going to be important going forward. And you know, uh, our spirit of the club is together, we are stronger. And I noticed that this is also yours. Our is together, shaping the future of clean energy. Ah, and our, our motto is leading the clean tech decade together. There you because go. together we are stronger. So a lot of, lot of synergies between your organization Thank you so much. Thank you so uh, much. And uh, thumbs up also for your electric. Fantastic.